In this particular lecture, let's learn how to create the recipe detail view for our application on the right hand side over here. So in order to create that detail view, there are a couple of steps which we need to take. But the first thing which we need to do is we need to structurally organize our components in such a manner that the detail view which we create would be placed on the right hand side. So what happens is now if you go ahead and create any kind of component and let's say if you add it to the app.jsx that component will only be displayed after the food list ends however we don't want to do that instead we want to place the components on the right hand side so in order to place the recipe detail component on the right hand side we first have to create a container and in that container we have to make that container of the type flex so once the container type is flex, then we could create one container for placing this particular food item list on the left hand side and another inner container to place the recipe detail view. So that means first of all, we have to create the outermost container and that container is going to be a component. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's create a new component and for the sake of simplicity, let's call this thing as a container. So container.jsx. So export default function container and let's make this thing return a div. So this container which we have up over here, this is not a functional component, but instead it's a structural component as the job of this component is to only provide structure to our application and not any kind of functionality. So this right here is a structural component. And what we wish to do is uh, we wish to actually take this particular container and enclose whatever we have here inside that container. So we want to enclose the food list which we have inside that container. So now let's go ahead and let's use that container over here. So I'll go ahead and I would say container. And over here, instead of using the self closing tag, as we want to contain or nest this component inside this container, I have to use two tags. One is the opening tag and the other one is the closing tag. But if I go ahead and cut this and if I paste this inside the container, let's see what happens. So if I go back here, as you can see, the food list component, which we had up over there kind of disappeared. And this happens because whenever you nest one component inside other component, you actually have to go ahead and add that component or render that component over here inside the return because right now what's happening here is that we are rendering a container here which is the container component but if you take a look at the container component right now it's absolutely empty but we actually need to go ahead and render this food list inside of this container which we have so now the question is how exactly would you do that so in order to do that what you have to do is you have to pass this food list to the container. Now, one way to pass this is you could pass it as prop. But in this case, as this container is a parent component and this food list component is actually a child component. So whenever you have to access a child component inside a parent component, you could simply do that by making use of the children prop. So that means this component is automatically passed to this component as prop. So let's access that over here as children. So I would say children. And now I could simply go ahead and render that children here. So over here, I could say children save this and if I go back here now as you can see food list which we had over here is now back and remember that this thing which we have done here is nothing but it's nesting of component so we have created one component and we have nested the other component in there so this becomes the parent component this becomes the child component and whenever we have to access the child or the children component passed to the parent you could simply go ahead and say children and access children over here like that and render whatever is in there. So what you could also do is, let's say, I again have to use this container and let's suppose over here you simply have an H1 tag here like hello. So right now if you go down here, as you can see this hello is rendered and that's because whenever we use the container component, this gets passed as a child and this time that child or the children gets rendered up over here whenever we render that component. So this is how it works. So for now, let's get rid of this container from here. 
All right. So now the reason why we have created this container is because we actually want to set the display type of this container to flex. So therefore, let's go ahead and let's create a CSS property for this container. So I'll go ahead, create a new file called as container.module.css. And once this file is created, let's attach this file to the container component. So over here inside the container component, I would say, all right, I want to import the styles from dot slash container.module.css. And now I could go ahead and assign the styling to this div right here. So I would say the class name of this thing is going to be, let's say styles dot, and let's call the CSS class as parent container. Now let's define the parent container in here. So dot parent container, and let's set the display of this thing to flex. All right. And now if I go back here, now as you can see, this looks just as before. So now the outermost container is created. And if you want to check this, you could inspect this. And if you take a look at the outermost container, as you can see, this is what the outermost container looks like. So if you hover on this, this is our outermost container. And inside the outermost container, we have this particular item on the left hand side. And then you could go ahead and place another component over here on the right hand side. So in the next lecture, just as we have created the outer container, let's create the inner container for holding this entire list which we have. And we will be using that same container for the detailed view as well. So let's create that inner container in the next one.